before initiating antihypertensive to a patient, always rule out the secondary causes. Very common in today's scenario is the obesity. If patient have history of snoring, daytime sleepiness or morning headache, think about obstructive sleep apnea and ask the patient to get polysomnography or a sleep study done. Second, if there is, uh, there is central obesity with a moon facies or a buffalo hump or the striae present, then think about Cushing syndrome and SIN 24 hour urinary cortisol levels. Third, if patient have tachycardia or a bradycardia, or there is heat or cold intolerance, or there is diarrhea or constipation, or heavy menses in the females, think about thyroid disorders and send thyroid profile. Fourth, if patient have flushing, there is episodic headache, there is palpitation, think about pheochromocytoma, and send the sample for urinary VMAs and the metanephrines. And fifth, if in the investigation there is hyperkalemia, think about primary hyperaldosteronism and send the sample for serum aldosterone and serum renin and calculate the ratio. Sixth, if there is unequal blood pressure between the upper limb and the lower limb, think about coarctation of aorta. Send the patient for CT or MR angio. Seventh, if there is increase of serum creatinine with proteinuria, think about renal disease and get EGFR as well as ultrasound abdomen. And the last, if patient have shrunken kidney, unilateral shrunken kidney with increase of creatinine after initiation of ACE inhibitor, think about renal artery stenosis. Now kindly comment with other secondary causes of hypertension.